Hi there, my name is Will and welcome to the Data Engineering Zoom Camp. Now, we've already covered a little bit about orchestration and Kestra, but I wanted to make you aware of a bunch of different videos that we have on our YouTube channel to help you get started with Kestra. Now, to begin with, we've got a 15 minute getting started with Kestra video that walks you through a few examples and how you can use a few fundamental concepts inside of Kestra. I'd recommend checking this out. While it is using an older version of Kestra, the fundamentals remain the same. So it's definitely good to help you get familiarized with the product. After that, we've also got a short tutorial series. Now this series covers things such as building your first workflow, inputs and outputs, flowable tasks where you can control your orchestration logic, triggers for being able to set when the workflow will run and managing your dependencies using Docker. This will give you a good foundation of all the things that you'll need to build complicated workflows. We also have a number of installation guides. Specifically, I'm thinking of our install with Docker Compose guide, where I can show you how to set up Docker Compose on your machine, and you can configure Kestra using the Docker Compose file. This is a little bit longer than the 60 second Docker install, but because we're gonna be using Kestra for a few things, I'd recommend using Docker Compose to get things set up. So check out that video here. And if you're still not quite sure about orchestration, we have a dedicated video to understanding orchestration and the use cases for it here as well. So check that out to help you get a good understanding of what's going on. So with all of those different videos, I would recommend getting started with those first before moving on to the first task as they will give you a good grounding for what Kestra has to offer. But there are tons of videos on our channel covering all sorts of different use cases and scenarios, such as error handling, notifications, and more. So if you're stuck for an idea, definitely recommend checking out our, both our documentation, but the YouTube channel as well. There'll be a link in the description. But if you do have any questions and you can't find the right answer, let us know it in the Slack channel. We'll do our best to keep an eye on that, but we'll be able to help link you to various things. Or maybe you'll give us a good suggestion of something that should be added to the documentation. We look forward to seeing what you get up to with Kestra, but don't be afraid to ask any questions.